Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to do somewhat of a user challenge. Um, this has been something I've been reading in the comments over and over again, and it is that I should try to survive with, well, everyone alive. The whole family. Maybe even Pancake if we're good. That'd be fantastic. Uh, usually, always someone dies or runs away, and I never finished, well, I never got an ending with all of them in the bunker. So I'm going to try that on the little boy difficulty, because it would take me forever to get that with... Let's say, let's start Bombard Hardest Difficulty. And uh, yeah, leave your ideas for challenges in the comments below. Um, and come up with something creative. I, I, I like I like when you do things that are not in just in the game. Something different maybe with, you know, rolling dice and stuff like that. I really like creative endeavors in that. Anyway, we're going to begin our adventure with the little bit of difficulty. And just going to grab whatever we can. I'm trying to do my best. I will try to do... <sighs> my best to grab all the items that I can in the limited amount of time I have sadly I can't start grabbing stuff before the timer well uh, reaches zero so I have like 20 seconds to scout the place for what it's worth but since I'm pretty much grabbing everything I can I'm gonna be fine um yeah let's get rid of that lamp fantastic it just flew through the roof that's always a good sign of a good map uh, lamp I just saw the map and then there you go I feel that the radio would at least need two slots, but yeah, who am I? Who am I to judge? All right, we're gonna run back. We're gonna take the later rooms first. Oh yeah, give me that padlock. Then again, I doubt I will need the padlock, considering that everyone is, you know, I, I plan that everyone survives. All right, good haul, good haul, weasel. All right, let's go into the kitchen and grab the wife. Oh, really, lamp? Well, you're putting here a, a, a ding in my plans. Oh, box rain. Oh yes, absolutely. We're gonna need a med kit. If we want to survive this with everyone. Absolute priority. And give me the suitcase. Oh, really? Ah, oh, this needs two slots. Worst. Okay. 15 seconds left. Gotta get that girl. Give me the soup can. I wonder if I can grab something else. Yeah. Might be able to grab that axe. And yeah, gas mask. Good. Oh, no. The rifle. So many good items that I couldn't grab. But I'm, I think we might be okay. Considering that we got the suitcase and you know how it is now with the new expansion. You get some extra items from the suitcase because, you know, there's just goodies in there. Are you going to sit? Is, I think Wheatley's just going to sit over there and it's just going to yell at me. Unless he comes over. All right, this looks good. Wheatley, you want to come come and join, uh, join the fun? A good bird. All right, so, I mean, this is not a bad shelter at all. Yeah, we got the Boy Scout book. We're good. We're good. We can pretty much build everything. Just, just kidding. All right, all of us made into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. It is. It contains a whole lot of vitamin Y. Don't... It's a thing. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. I'm pretty sure most of my viewers will agree. I'm, I'm a messy person too. It, it just works out. It's organized chaos. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We we'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Yes. All right. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the situation. Um, and well, again, the plan is that everyone survives. So we're going to be nice to everyone. I know it's 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 boring when I see comments about challenges. The, the, the most popular ones are the ones where I mean to someone in the family, like the one honeymoon challenge. That was the one suggested in the last video that got a lot of votes. It's a little bit like Selfish Ted, but, you know, with a twist. And pretty much, yeah, screw the kids. The kids uh, have to go scavenge while you do everything to follow Dolores, stuff like that. You you, you like that when, when I'm mean, don't you? It's <laughs> we can make it work even Toronto. Mary Jane is worried. Looks, it's good. Everything is fine. We don't have to worry. I'm going to let them sit in the bunker for like 10 days. Um, our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half ruined wall nearby. Very crude map of our town. Um, this is a scavenge event, so I'm going to do it with Mary Jane. It's going to be right back, and she shouldn't get sick as far as I remember. At least not in a little bit. Ah, oh, and she got sick. Great job, Weasel. Well, we got a can of tomato soup, so we got that going. And now she's also hungry, and she could use a... Well, it's good. Good job, Weasel. Good job sending her out on the first day. Of course, everything's still irradiated, so that made her sick. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. Yes, with the gas mask, please. I'd like that. There's usually some good stuff in there. Let's see what we got. 
We got some water, I can tell. Uh, and some soup, always good. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. Um, okay, since everyone is doing okay... Oh man, I need a med kit for pancake. Um, I just have to feed Mary Jane right now. Let's give her some more food and water for tomorrow for everyone. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Well, yeah, I just wasted... I just gave you a med kit. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks, hitting them against each other, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. Okay, they're looking for the holy grail. Well, let's uh, point them out. Let's help them out with a map and see if they can find the holy grail. I wonder if they're going to give me something if they ever come back with it. They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. Well, they give me water, so that's nice. Water is what Mary Jane needs. Yes, we all need water. Looking good. That should keep us, well, alive for quite some time. Uh, we're not going to go out. Everything's still radioactive. Even though we have a gas mask, if we wait, we're going to be better, though. We're going to be just fine. All right, it is day six. Found memories are one thing. She's fine. All right, looking good, looking good. Home enough for Ted. Yeah. Does anyone need food? No, they don't. That's my favorite time when nobody needs food. Mary Jane was injured on our last expedition. We we gave her a med kit already. Do we really have to? Uh, please, let's hope that this works without getting her injured. Okay, we lost the axe, but at least she didn't get sick. And we are defenseless. Oh, fantastic. Well, we brandished the axe and mm, burned that wound. Cauterizing is always fun. Am I right? Okay, Timmy should eat. Dolores hasn't eaten. Ted is hungry. And, you know, I'm going to give him all food just to get him on the same schedule again. Containment is still strong. No, I'm not going out. I don't need to go out. I pretty much got everything except a rifle and an axe. <sighs> all right, good. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make everyone a bit pathetic. Yes. Okay, water, water. All right, we're good. I'm gonna wait till day 10 for water. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. Yes, the twins. Sure. Dolores, check, uh, go to the phone and listen to the twins. Unless, unless it's someone is selling tomato soup. When we answered the phone, we could hear a gasp of relief from the caller. Yes, the survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. Fantastic. Those are the survivors. Uh, glad to see Dolores come back safely. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yep, 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 yep. Water for tomorrow. Has been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If only we had a chance to tune in in some emergency radio broadcast and learn a thing or two. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Day 10. Okay, guys. Don't get sick. Don't die. It's all, all we need. All right, fallout site has mostly gone. Good news. Uh, we could send someone out, but I don't think we need to send someone. So I'm, I'm quite content down here. Maybe we're gonna get a scavenging event. I'm, I'm fine with this. We can sit out for at least like 30 more days. Eh, 20 more days. Uh, we have four bottles, so after five, yeah, like 20 more days we can sit around, which would be enough to maybe get the military. We'll see. Jane is handling the situation, quite calm, nothing to worry. Good. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I, oh, there was a scavenging event. I totally clicked over that. What was that? Um, oh, the tank, right, the tank could blow up. There's a tank right outside of our house. That already already killed one of my guys. We're not, we're not doing that. Mary Jane seems fine today, might not look like it quite well. All right. Everything is good. Everything is marshmallows. When we look closely at our map, we noticed someone had written a set of mysterious directions in one corner. Uh, we might find some soup, but I'm not sending anyone to find soup. It's not worth it. I'm not risking getting sick just for a soup because we, we got food plenty. We're not worried about food. Can we spare some water? No. No. No water. Ted is hungry. Okay. Good. Let's get, let's get Ted some food. Day 15 is when we get water. The state of the waste and remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, after all, you only live once. YOLO. After all, YOLO. Uh, no. 
I mean, hmm. Uh, we have a gas mask, but no med kit. No. All right. If there's anyone who can rescue us, it's the government. Yeah, let's listen in and see if they have some news, some interesting news for us. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Hmm. We knew it. The government has not fallen. They're coming to save us. Good. That should kick off the whole event thing. Mary Jane is hungry. Tim is hungry. And... Wait. Mary Jane and Timmy. So the kids are hungry. Okay. Let's give something to the kids. And water tomorrow. Quiet outside. That's good. A group of doctors knocked on our door today requesting some supplies that would be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. Um... You know what? Let's let's help the doctors. Let's see. I know it cost me a water, but I still haven't mm, still haven't seen anything. All right, how's it? How's it? Well, we just lost a bottle of water. <laughs> we asked them for their doctor licenses, but all they claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. We didn't dare ask if it just was if it just what what we didn't dare ask if it was just the one pair. Uh, we gave them a water bottle and wished them a good journey and better luck with trousers. What an odd event. Okay. So I assume sometimes I think we get something. I don't know. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need to find her something to drink. Yeah, it's day 15. Uh, any food? No. No food. Okay, here's water. <sighs> it seems awfully quiet on the outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We won't know until we get out. I don't know. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when we weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads anyway. Wait, where? Oh, true. Bombs everywhere. Well, on other people's heads, considering it's the 50s or so. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through to me, it's very brave. Sorry, I'm just reading through this real quick. Uh, would love to eat. Okay. So Dolores gets food, and it's all, it's all okay. I'm, I'm happy with this. Ooh, what? Did we prepare for an expedition? Did I, did I click that? Well, I, I guess we could go out. Wouldn't be the worst idea. It's, it's quiet. Uh, we're gonna set Timmy. We're gonna give him a suit. Wait, did we? Oh, I actually did not grab a suitcase. Huh, surprising. Well, he's gonna get a gas mask just to be on a safe side, but I. Did I not grab the suitcase at the start? Huh. Probably not. That's okay. Alright, Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll do if he doesn't come back. Alright. Um, equipment gas mask. Hasn't eaten in a while. Okay, we're good. Didn't I just give you food, Dolores? I thought I did, but I guess I'm gonna have to feed her again. Soup, not a problem. We're good. The problem was simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells real bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? Uh, we're gonna use the ammunition. Ammunition is great for that because it will heal you as well, but since nobody's sick, we're just making sure that we're getting, well, sick. Yeah, pretty much. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue. How do we deal with that? Well, we got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Luckily, nobody got injured doing so. Everyone has to drink sometimes. Okay, now. Water. Nope. Okay, they can wait until day 20. We woke up. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have, we have, we have a weird critter in our place. It's gonna steal soup. Luckily, we have enough soup, so at least we got that going for us. I <sighs> hope Timmy brings back some water. Yeah, or and, and an axe or a rifle. Please, one of those two things. Mei Jane keeps fainting. Okay. Ted is hungry. Well, Ted, here's some food. <sighs> oh, we're gonna play some games. First, we're gonna have to figure out which game, and we're gonna kill each other in the process. Luckily, that is not an event that they just decide to like, well, and then we killed each other, and two people are dead. We played hide and seek. Oh, that sounds fun in a bunker. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Dolores will not survive without water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're appealing to the human in me. Oh, no. Oh, no. The raider camp out on our street has been especially maddening lately. They're acting like real savages. We won't stand for that. Somebody should show them that the innocent survivors of the wasteland aren't just miserable victims and that someone should be us. Oh. Hmm. 
So, I've never had that one before, I wonder. So, are we getting a tech now? Maybe. We'll see. Please. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, we didn't get raided yet, nobody got injured, so that's something. Going out there and provoking these brutes is the last thing we want to do. I agree. We simply don't stand a chance against them. It's harsh, but it's the truth. Compared to them, we're innocent, delicate flowers. Yeah, we don't have a gun or an axe or anything. Maybe a fork somewhere. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Dolores is fine and well. Ted seems to be doing all right. Okay, so food for you. Mary Jane has been dropping hints that it's her special day for her today. She has her period. No, she got... Her birthday. We had to think about it hard and after eliminating our average festivities, the anniversary of that great barbecue we had three years ago in International Popcorn Day, we realized she was talking about her birthday. That means we need to get her a gift. Uh, cards. Playing cards. Here. Enjoy, enjoy Solitaire. Hmm. Mary Jane loves cards. We thought she might get herself busy with solitaire, but she started doing card readings. Divination or not, if we don't figure out why the world has gone to hell, maybe she will. With cards, yes. Okay, um, yeah, everyone's fine. I hope Timmy comes back soon. If there's a sure way to get our attention, it's definitely banging our shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. They've been at it for past five minutes. Should we open? There's a cam outside the door. No, I'm not opening before day 30. I'm, I'm a little bit too worried about that. Also, Timmy isn't back. And if Timmy isn't back, there's no rescuing. The banging stopped after a while and whoever was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Usually I open doors after day 30 in this game. That's just my weird rule that I do. Alright, we were afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the waste and is safe with us. We quickly discovered that the local supermarket has become the base of operations for Raider Group. Um, six, bot six bottles of water! A rifle! Sweet! Sweet, that's 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 good news. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Timmy needs food. Um, all right, let's get Timmy some food and water on day 25. The note we found at our door today was a real surprise. It's not signed, but it says that whoever wrote it has been observing us for a while and believes we're the right kind of people. They instruct us to send a single honor representative to a meeting today. We're gonna send the mother. I think that's the twins. They might have been banging at the door. I don't know, and have would have visited us yesterday. But not rescued us, so we're good. It's true, it's all true. There really are others like us. Yes. Um, been led by twins to ask some questions and promise to stay in touch. Good, good. Ah, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's hungry, okay. Dolores would love to eat. Okay, so Timmy and Dolores are getting food. There you go. And tomorrow, water. Uh, not sending anyone out, we're good. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind the door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. Ah, uh, here's the thing. There might be water in there, but sometimes if you drink it, you might get sick, so I'm not opening the suitcase. Nope, not risking it. We're good on water. We don't have to worry about that for a while. Six bottles of water, that's a lot. Good job, Timmy. Yeah, it could be poison, so we threw it away. Mary Jane keeps fainting, Timmy's hungry. Timmy's still hungry? Oh, okay. And Ted is hungry. Okay. Timmy, Ted, water for everyone. Okay, state of the wasteland remains unknown. Oh, the water chip guy. Uh, he might give us a gas mask, so I'm not giving... No, we're not giving him water. Screw karma. I can hear the fallout sound when you do something bad. And you hear that karma sound. We're sorry, explain to... Uh, we were sorry to explain we didn't know what a water chip was and that we didn't have one. He thanked us in a few short words and left. Yeah, right. He would just look confused. So, Timmy should eat something. Ted is fine. Are you really still? Shop? Sure. Here, eat, eat, Timmy. Eat. Brought so much food, you deserve it. Our family has been stuck down here for a while and we're very worried that can have an adverse effect on Timmy's education. Well, let's teach him things in the Boy Scout book that he can survive without there. Day 27. Uh, the only book we have with us is the Scout Handbook, but it's more than enough to get Timmy reading. Good. Mary Jane is hungry. And that's the only thing. Good. I hope we have the items to survive long enough for the twins to rescue us. That'd be great. I could prepare an expedition. No. No, we're gonna sit it out a little bit longer. 
We don't have to go. We have pretty much everything at our hands. Nobody's sick. I would really hate if we got sick. That'd be bad. We need a, we need a med kit. And I hope that the boys we get the Boy Scout book, uh, Boy Scout book event where we can create a med kit. Ted is really thirsty. Okay, nobody wants food. That's good. So we got that covered. The treasures of ours getting disgusting. Good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. Let's use the Boy Scout book to make sure we don't get any giant cockroaches in here. I'd like to Spider-Man and Mary Jane to become a mutant. That'd be great. But yeah, I also like to win this game with everyone alive. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's in general. Okay. No water yet tomorrow. Not certain about the situation on the surface. Our supplies are scarce and morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation of shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. No, we're not going to attack them and steal their stuff because for the twin event, we have to be good people. So to have another route of escape, that's what we have to do. Not be mean. We're not bandits. Sure, we need supplies, but not at the cost of others. We won't bother those people. A man who takes canned tomato soup from another is not worthy to taste that soup. Let's just hope that everyone else out there is as decent as our family. No. Okay, I uh, need something to drink fast. Give him water. Yeah, it's day 30, and Dolores needs food. Here you go. Management. Ah, yes. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. No, not yet. Oh. Let's let's try tune in in the signal. Haven't heard from the military in quite some time, honestly. And now that it's after day 30, I'm going to open the door if there's knocking because there is the chance that it might be uh it might be the military. Um once we waited through the static, we found a transmission that was hosted by some not talking about conspiracies and saw some men from Mars abducting people. Pretty amusing. All right, that should bring up the entertainment. Mary Jane is fatigued, Timmy might not look like it. He's just yeah, they're all doing fine. They're just a little tired. Other than that, we're good. They're very good, actually. Ooh, traveling salesman. All right, he is going to give us... We're good. Wow, he's going to give us four water for a rifle, two for a gas mask. Mm, no, we're good. We're good. I like the stuff we have. I don't want to trade it away. Even though we could use some soup. Going to have to get in on that. Hmm. Timmy should eat. Ted is hungry. All right. Ted and Timmy. Here you go. One and a half cans. That's not too much. But we can we can pull this off. I'm excited. Hear that? Noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner after a month. These weird events. They come so late. Like, well, as long as nobody's... Yeah, no, no nobody's... Nobody's... Yeah, nobody's uh, sick and, and hurt. Yeah, we're not going to go into that tunnel, even if it gives us the creeps. Okay, Mary Jane is hungry. Ooh, sorry, clicked too many times. Uh, Mary Jane is hungry. And that's it. All right, good. Ah, <sighs> State of the Mason remains unknown. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly. Instead, we got to listen to the, the transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there's something we need to do first. Yes, we have to leave a sign on a map. Okay, good that we have the map. I don't know how we're going to get rescued, military or survivors. I'm pretty content that we can get a rescued, but hopefully with everyone. <sighs> no pancake events, so nothing I can do about that. Quick glance at the map, give us the information, keeps fainting, terrible shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no event. Oh, during the night, we had some suspicious sounds coming from behind the door. When we peeked out, we saw a leather suitcase. No address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant for us. You know what? Open it. Let's risk it. It's, you only live once. YOLO. Day 35. Nobody got sick. And we got a can of soup. Yay. We got lucky. Yes, a sudden gift. Ha, sweet. Thank you, kind stranger. All right, it's time for water. Anyone want food? No. All right, good. Because I don't have too much. All right, every new smell attacks our noses. Oh, we have a hole in the wall. We're gonna check out the hole and see what's inside. Maybe we're gonna can a can of, get a can of soup or we get injured by a rat jumping out. A can of soup. Fantastic. We looked into the hole fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, rather mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. And that rat who was trying to break in a can of tomato soup. Well, that is actually really good. We're, we're looking fantastic here. Mary Jane says she's fine. Timmy isn't... Everything's fine. Just Dolores is a little bit hungry, which is not a problem anymore, considering so much. 
All right, a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Didn't we already reply to one? I thought so. Well, Mary Jane, it's probably the soup vendor trying to sell us soup. Probably. Let's have a look. Uh, we answered the phone. We could clearly hear the gas of relief. Wait, we, we did get that event already, didn't we? Ha, huh, interesting. Anyway, that's the twin event from Hill Valley. Uh, the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter. Timmy has rested. Good, finally we can send him technically. And... Yeah. Yeah, everything's good. Nobody needs anything. Not even water. They always want water. Alright, day 37. Unforeseen consequences. Let's see what happens next. I am... I'm very optimistic that we can actually get everyone rescued. Timmy should eat something. Prefers apple juice. Oh, yeah. I'd like some apple juice right now, too. Water. Ted is hungry. Okay, Ted, you're gonna get some food. We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from neighborhood today. I guess that there's a zoo escape in the animals stampeding out there. No, we're not gonna go after the animals. There's a chance you can get four food cans. But... What? I, I got enough. I don't need to worry about that right now. Yeah, sounds way too risky. I don't want to injure anyone because we still don't have a medkit. I want us to drink. Yes. Timmy should eat. Okay, Timmy gets some food and we're gonna drink stuff tomorrow. Let's see if we get an event. The kids have been all fidgety lately. They miss running around and playing games with each other in their rooms. Even though the shelter is way smaller than their bedrooms, there's some space in front of a table that seems perfect for wildly sprinting around and playing tag. Should we let them play? Um, no. No. You're just gonna injure yourself, kids. And I can't have that. Oh, perfect. And it didn't go crazy. There's simply not enough space around here for any activities. We can barely stretch without putting elbows in each other's eyes. Ouch. The kids weren't exactly happy about it, but it's about time they got used to the situation and understood the rules of the shelter. No running. Mei Jane is quite hungry. Kim's fan. Timmy's hungry. Huh? Loris. Okay, so the kids are hungry and everyone wants water. Here's some food for you. Awfully quiet outside. I like that. That's my favorite kind of sound in this game. Quiet. Or knocking on door. Knocking on doors. I'd like that actually right now. Alright. Um... A good sky scout, um, looking good. Please give me some knocking on the door. Nope. Okay, let's listen to the radio. Military. <sighs> Come on, game. Don't torture me like this. Maybe that's the price you pay on the easy mode. It's not as hard, but it keeps going longer. How fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. Seems fine, seems fine. Uh, the Lors is hungry. Good, here you go. And we get an event. We could really use some supplies. Oh, uh, we're not gonna... We're not gonna raid a school. What are we, savages? Maybe. But not today. Today it's all about getting rescued by either the military or the military... Uh, the military or the twins. Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. See? I, I asked. We cannot stoop to that... We cannot stoop that low. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. The Dolores will not last long without water. Where's water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water is going to come on day 45 as usual. The twin siblings contacted us again. Since uh, today they visited our humble shelter, saying they're looking for a map of the nearby area. Their plan is to find a relatively safe place for a new camp that could accommodate their whole group and anybody else who would want to move in with them. Plan of the city would be very helpful. Here you go. One step closer. One step closer. Rescue us. Okay, it's day 44. They didn't have to ask twice. These people are very friendly and the way they take care of others is impressive. We showed them the map and pointed out a few bandit camps that they should avoid. They were grateful and stayed for a little chat. They said they would be more than happy if we came to visit them once their camp is ready. Yeah, that'd be great. Couldn't we just come with them and help them? Just not wait until the camp is done. Oh, uh, what, are, what are you sitting there? You want to come over and join join the fun Wheatley bird? Wheatley, come here. Good bird. Uh, no water today. Anyone wants food? Yeah, Ted wants some food. We're running low on food, but I think we're still good. We felt we had to do something about our interior decoration. Now, Feng Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. Let's check it out with the rifle. Shouldered. Hopefully nobody got injured. Whew, we're good. We good. 
The best way to be sure nothing was to jump was to bash the door open and start firing. Uh, room was empty. Okay, we barely dodged one ricochet. Okay. Uh, Kim's fainting, terrible shape. Yes, it's time for water. I could use some water. Should have brought some now that I think about it. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, the Boy Scout books. Ah, the Boy Scout books. The Girl Scout. Girl Scouts, there you go. Uh, yeah, the Girl Scouts. Uh, I don't have any of these items. I'm sorry. 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 Can't, can't help you there. Day 46. The end is near, isn't it? Girls are very brave to walk around the waste and like that. Sadly, they didn't have anything of interest. I didn't have anything of their interest. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Mary Jane is hungry. Alright. Well, I mean, at this rate, we can easily make day 50. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna ex prepare an expedition. I'm gonna send someone out tomorrow. Preferably the Timster. Maybe. I hope this works. If he gets six and dies, ah, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, Timmy should eat. Timmy should eat. Okay, here's some food, Timmy. <sighs> should I send... You know what? I'm not gonna send him. Screw that. No, 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 no. I will send him when it's absolutely necessary. Right now, I don't want to risk it. I'm... They're all alive and well. <sighs> okay. Ted is thirsty. Okay, Dolores wants food. Yeah, 10 more days with with, with with this food is fine. Uh, trash come is becoming full. Boy Scout book. I got, like, rescue opportunities way before on the top bomber difficulty. Here, it seems to take forever to get something. Okay. Uh, no food. Good. There's never a good time to go into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity. Oh, we got the pancake event. Um, I don't have a flashlight, so I can't see Pancake. That's bad. I guess we're gonna go out and scream at the poor animal, and he's gonna run away. But yeah, we're not gonna get him. Day 50! I haven't reached day 50 in a while. Good for me. Are you breeding my beard? You go ahead. I enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we might have risked battling a beast in the darkness, but we felt that was not our liking, so we screamed and screamed with terror. The Breacher was probably more afraid of us than we were of it. Poor Pancake. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Yep, yep. Okay. Ted needs food. The rest needs water. Alright, we need to prepare an expedition. And, ooh, woman came by with a creature. She claims a camel's... <coughs> a camel with five legs. I... I don't know. I'm not gonna give you my radio. Crazy woman. Okay, they all get water. And well, who's who's gonna be who's gonna have the best chances? Uh, nobody needs food. That is fine. Okay, who goes outside? You know what? Let's let's send Ted with a gas mask, just to be on the safe side. It m might be mostly gone, but I think radioactivity lingers for a while. Just just to be safe. All right, Jim. Jerry Jane is hungry. Rest is fine. Okay. Last soup. Hopefully he brings back something. Enjoying the little things is important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in a shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck and enough water and so we might be able to grow our own food. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Own food. Sounds good. Let's do that. Usually, I get the uh, flesh-eating plant that will attack us, but sometimes you can get lucky and it's a little more difficulty, so chances might be good. All right, it costs us a water, but here goes nothing. Timmy's very hungry. Damn it, no food left. <sighs> well, you gotta, you gotta be achy. We couldn't get a clear signal from the radio, but after we turn onto the military broadcast, we were left speechless. They want us to throw out the rifle, which I am actually going to do. I'm gonna risk it. I'm, I'm, I'm losing more and more items, but I definitely feel that we could get rescued soon. Okay, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's hungry. Okay, water tomorrow. First aid kit we have useless. Yes, let's make some life-saving drugs with the bug spray. Which might make people sick, but nope. We got a bar. Yes, we got a med kit. Very good. So if Ted comes back and he's sick, we're settled. Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. Timmy should eat something and Mary Jane keeps fainting. Okay, water. Oh, shit. Really? 
I didn't even notice I ran out of water. Oh. The plant. We were so close. We were so close. So close. Great. He offers me... Oh, he gives me a rifle for the padlock. All right. I'll take that. Well, the kids are done. I couldn't make it. I'm sorry, guys. I tried to rescue everyone. But... We didn't succeed. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, what? The weird man tried to make us buy fried cockroaches on a stick covered in some mysterious sauce. Mm, no. Yeah, we get a rifle for a padlock. That's a good deal. And he brought back two bottles of water, ammunition, and no food. Dolores would like to eat something. Ted is hungry. I bet he is. I bet he is. Uh, yeah, let's start an expedition with Dolores. We're gonna send her out right away. I hope she can make it. Man, what a bummer. I was really, really doing well here, but... Yeah, her sanity is questionable and Ted is hungry. Um, who should go outside? I guess she's the only person I can send at this point, so... Ted is just crazy sitting in here. I'm still gonna play this through and see where this is ending. But, wow, this just took a... This took a turn for the worse really fast. Maybe I should have scavenged more. Maybe next time I'll try that. Ted looks really weak. If he doesn't eat today, it might end badly. I do not have... I do not have anything. Oh, the carnivorous plant trying to eat us. Well, thanks, Mary Jane. That worked out great. Let's use the bug spray and hope we can get rid of it. Uh, maybe. Nope, we got sick. Oh, lovely. This is getting better and better. You're... We, we lost the box spray. Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat today, it might end really badly. He became infected. Well, at least I can give him a um, med kit. Oh, none of us can sleep properly. Is this going to drive us crazy? No, it's just going to make us tired. Oh, he's still alive. He can, he can hold out without food for a while. Okay, here's some water, Ted. You can do this. What? All right. There is an armed and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts wild beasts of the waste, and right now she's on a trail of a giant mutated spider. We are pretty sure she lost her mind. What are you going to do with that spider lady? Put it on a leash? She promises that if we help her, she will return the favor another day. You know what? Here goes nothing. Here, here goes nothing. Did we get something? Nope. Well, maybe later on we get some food. Ted looks very weak if he doesn't eat something soon. Well... I don't have food. Ugh. The end. What? That is new. I have not seen this before. That is a new screen. Awesome. That that is super cool. Uh, what we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. The big poster on the shelter entrance claims the bunker is now the property of the government. Well, that's probably not the first, no last time the government screwed us over. Oh, okay. Fantastic. There are so many days a man can't survive without food. Ted was strong, but it was too much for him. He starved to death. Bummer. Well, I guess that's what we're gonna see now if we starve to death because... That's so weird with the government. What? I don't get this. Oh, okay. Ted died, Dolores came back, and it's the government's now. Who is this guy up there with the letter in the hand, I wonder? No idea. Ah, well. What can you do? Uh, we didn't make it. We didn't survive at all. I, I, we had a really good run in the beginning, but we couldn't save them all. I would like to try that again. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to try this again to rescue everyone. Um, and if you have cool ideas for challenges, like, like really get creative. Like, I can do other things as well. We had once one where I would roll a die. Uh, where I'd roll the dice, or die, whatever the plural is, and the outcome would determine what we're doing. So if you have ideas like that, leave them in the comments below. And if you see something that you think is cool, well, let me know. And in any case, uh, well, vote it up. In any case, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye.